Hi, in today's video, we're going to go through the clipboard variable and cover the below topic. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Accessing, manipulating and pulling data from clipboard is super easy in Autarchy. The variables that are used to refer to the clipboard is simply called clipboard or clipboard all. The difference between the clipboard and the clipboard all is that clipboard only contains texts, whereas clipboard all contains everything in the clipboard, uh, such as images and texts that have formatting applied. So how you use the clipboard variable is that you can either store a data into the clipboard or call the data from the clipboard. So to assign a value to the clipboard is to go simply clipboard equals, let's say I'm going to give it a value of my text. So if I ran ahead and run this and bring up my notepad and did a control V, what gets pasted in is the text that I have assigned to my clipboard. Now, if you want to erase what's in the clipboard, then you can simply put nothing in the clipboard like this and then run it. And if I go control V, nothing gets pasted in because my clipboard has been emptied out. Now to call values from the clipboard, what you can do is you can create a uh, variable like my variable and then assign the data in the clipboard into that variable and then go message box my variable to dis display what is inside this my variable variable. So if I copy this text that you see here and then run the script, I get the message box that displays what was inside the clipboard which got assigned to my variable and then display the value in my variable as a message box. Now, you can also do things like clipboard equals clipboard. What this does is it's going to convert any copied files, HTML or other formatted texts to plain text. For example, let me just go ahead and bring up my Chrome, which has this page open, the clipboard official documentation on AutoHockey open. So if I copied this and opened up Word, here's my Word, and pasted it in as it is, then the formatting comes with the pasting. So everything that was in the clipboard gets pasted in, including the formatting. But if I went to my script and ran this, what happens then is that we erase this. When I paste the clipboard again by going control V, I'm just going to get the text pasted in like that. You can also append texts to the clipboard in this manner. So you can just simply go uh, this is some additional additional text applied, right? So let me just copy this bit and then render the script. And if I do a uh, copy, uh, if I do a paste now, then what you see is using this clip white, which was in the clipboard, and then the text that I have appended to the back of that clipboard. Now, to replace certain words that exist in the clipboard, for example, so let me just go back to my web browser. So if I copied this again and then went back to my site and say I did something like string replace clipboard and then let me go ahead and replace all the instances of the text clipboard with something else. Uh, found it here. And when I run this script, oh, got an error when I've got double quote here, when I run this script and bring up my notepad to paste it, I'm going to have all the instances of clipboard replaced with found it here, like that. Clipboard all will be discussed a bit later and so let's move on to the clip weight part. Now clip weight improves the script reliability when you try to use the clipboard. So what that means is, so say you're sending the control C to copy a selected text into your clipboard. Now if you don't use the clip weight command, what's going to happen is if the text is too large, you might move on to the next lines of codes before the content gets successfully copied to your clipboard. So you might want to use the clip weight when you send control C keys like that to copy texts or copy contents into your clipboard. Now, so the way you might want to do it is, first of all, you want to empty out the clipboard because 
Clipway doesn't do anything when there are contents already in the clipboard. It just waits for something to be input into the clipboard. So now in my example, let me just take this one out and uh, let me just fill out the parameters. So so let me just explain you what the parameters do. The first parameter is seconds to wait. I'm not going to fill out the second parameter and I'll explain you what that does a little later. So you set the clipboard to nothing and run the command clip wait for up to three seconds. Now, if nothing gets saved into the clipboard within the three second period, the error level is going to be set to one. And when it gets set to one and I'm running this if error level, so if it's one means true, right? So if true, then I'm going to make it say message box copy to clipboard has failed, right? Else, let me make it so that it displays the content of the clipboard, right? So let me go ahead and run this script and let three seconds to lapse. And I'm going to get the message box that says copy to clipboard has failed. Now, if I run the script again and quickly copy it, say this text here, uh, let me go ahead and run this and quickly copy this. And what happens straight away as soon as I copy the text into my clipboard is the second message box that displays the content of the clipboard. Now, if I bring up my snipping tool and if I run the script and grab the snippet of the screen, quickly then my clipboard gets filled with the snippet right so in theory it should display the content of the clipboard which can't be displayed with a message box but in any case it should display a message box that says empty right so if I render script and take a snippet it will still say copy to clipboard has failed and that's because of the second parameter now the second parameter is by default is set to zero if you leave it out then it's set to zero um, but if you set it to one what that means is it's going to wait for data of any kind so for example an image data taken by the snipping tool is one example so if i save this script and ran it and quickly took a snippet of somewhere okay hang on a second let me just try again and bring up the snipping tool again now if i ran the script and quickly took a snipping of anywhere I get a message box that shows me nothing and it shows me nothing because it can't message boxes cannot display images right so compared to when I had run it using without the second parameter which sets the second parameter to zero um, it's now showing up a message box that says copy to clipboard has failed because no text has been saved onto my clipboard right so that's how you use the clipboard I mean, that's how you use the clip wait command. And then what do we have? So we've got how to preserve the existing clipboard. Now I'm just gonna copy and paste a short script into my site. And this will also demonstrate the use of clipboard all. So let me just quickly go and grab the script and copy it into my site. So this is the script and this script uses control L button as the hotkey and it waits for the left mouse button to be lifted once the hotkey runs and then what it does is it stores the clipboard into this variable and it's clipboard all so it is not just limited to the text but also images and whatnot that is saved onto the clipboard it gets stored into this variable first and then the clipboard gets emptied out and then it sends control c to copy uh, whatever that is uh, selected into the clipboard and then it waits and for two seconds and then the second parameter is left empty which means i'm just going to copy i'm just going to wait for texts instead of images and or any other types of data just texts now and then it goes into the if statement where error level if it is set to one that means nothing no text has been copied to the clipboard within the two seconds now i have a not operator here so it means if something if a text gets copied onto the clipboard then run what's inside the if statement and this is to create a com object called speech api of microsoft and then it's going to read out the content in the clipboard by doing a text to speech and this topic is something i'm going to cover in more detail in future now and then after it reads out that what it's going to do is it's going to restore the old clipboard back into 
uh, the clipboard. So what gets saved in this line into the variable gets restored back in this line. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to copy this bit, right? And then save the script and run it. Now, if I say uh, press the control button and selected this area it's going to once i lift my left mouse button it's going to start reading this out key wait l button All right like that now it read it out because it copied that into using the send control c into the clipboard but my clipboard if i go into enter and then my clipboard regional clipboard was how to preserve the existing clipboard right so if i go ahead and control v then I get the old clipboard back. So even though the script sent control C to copy the key weight and L button to read it out, it managed to restore the clipboard back that was there originally before the hotkey ran. So let me try another time. And this time I'm going to bring up the snipping tool and I will show you how I preserve the image that is stored into the clipboard by using the clipboard O. So let me go ahead and uh, take a snippet of this area. So this got saved into my clipboard now, right? And if I uh, went to, I don't know, let's uh, select this to read it. Oh, so I think the script is, uh, script is not running. So now I have run the script. So let me try again. Take an action when clipboard content change. Okay, so. If I bring up my paint and do a control V, I still have my image saved into my clipboard. So that's how you preserve the old clipboard when you're using the send control C to uh, copy content into your clipboard newly. All right, so that is how to preserve it. And then I've got another script. So let's move on to the save every newly copied text into a text file so this is the script that does it now where is my script saved it is saved right here this script that i have written um every time you copy something so the hotkey is Control c and there's the wave sign to allow you to copy it um, and so if i saved it and run it what it will do is every time i do Control c it will copy the content um, and then save it into a text file called clipboard history txt. Now, the way it runs is it first empties the clipboard and waits for a second. I could increase that to two. And then what it does is it stores clipboard into the clipboard new. And that's important because we do a comparison of whether the clipboard old and the clipboard new is the same. And that's important because I want it to only save the newly copied text into the text file here only when the copy text is this is different to the previously copied text so the new clipboard which is stored into the clipboard new um, gets also stored into the clipboard old later right and then that gets um that gets compared with the new one when you do uh, your control C again. So now this formats the time that time gets added into the clipboard history text as well. And these are the commands also, which I'm going to cover more in a future tutorial um, that are used to store the content of the clipboard in text format into a uh, into this text file. So now and I've got this run command to open up the text easily I can comment it, uh, you should comment it out if you want to use this now if I save this and run it and let's say I'm going to go ahead and copy this clipboard basics right it opened up my text file somewhere else but right now so you can see that it's been um, it's been saved into my clipboard history text file which is right here right so if I copied another one for example this one copy it it launches the notepad just for my uh, convenience and you can see that it has copied and saved the clipboard into the text file as well so if I go back to say for example um, I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this and then hit Control C select all of it and hit Control C then the content that is copied to my clipboard gets saved as a text inside this text file like that okay
So in this manner, if you use Control C a lot to copy your text to your content, and if you want to go back to the old content that you had copied previously, you can use this. So let me just copy that, and the whole thing, the whole script got saved onto my clipboard history text file like that with the timestamp. So that's that's something that might you might be able to make a use of. And then lastly. Take an action when the clipboard content changes, and the way it works is, oh, got the script running. Um, let me just get out of the script first, and then now this thing is the way you can take an action when the content of the clipboard changes. So if I went ahead and ran this script now. There's something in my clipboard now, but if I change it by selecting another text and copying it, it's going to show me. Oh no, I forgot to bring the okay, top bit of it. So now it's got to be a persistent script because otherwise it's just going to run the function once and then get out. So the first, the only line that runs when you run the script is this one. So it turns on this on clipboard change and then the function name that goes inside it is the clip changed and the clip changed uh, will run whenever you change the content of the clipboard by copying new content into the clipboard and then you're going to show a tooltip showing the data type and the data types are down here so let me just copy the data types as well get out of this folder so if I run this now if I went ahead and copied this text, it's going to show me a type of uh, one, I believe. So copy that. So you get a tooltip that shows number one at the end. So let me copy that again. So you saw that it was maybe it was too short. Maybe let me change it to three seconds. I thought I ran it again. Okay, sorry. And copy it. Clipboard data type one. And that's because you have the clipboard content changed and that change was for a text so if I went to take a new snippet of something else then you can see the clipboard data type has changed to two uh, which is the something entire not non-text such as a picture all right so in this manner you can do something like show a message box or show a tooltip or launch your own auto hockey script or launch a program whenever the content of the clipboard changes so that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.